Hi, it is Saturday, April 18th, 2015. Um, sorry I'm recording this so late. Usually I record it earlier on the day. I had a lot going on, so unfortunately I did not get to it. Um, started my day off with um, doing the normal stuff, so I won't even get into that. Um, did a little bit of homework. Uh, talked to a client, and I will make this brief when I say this. I have a client that unfortunately, um, because of how slow Burke has been, that I have been relying on to um, be most of my income. And at some point, pretty soon within the next month or two, I'm going to have to let him go. Um, I fear that unless work starts picking up, that I'm going to be stuck in a situation where I'm not going to be able to afford much stuff. That I'm going to be working 60 hour weeks and I know a lot of you are complaining going, oh boo hiss, you have to work 60 hour weeks. Um, I've been working um, almost 50 hour weeks and it still hasn't been working out too great. Um, I've reached this point in my life where I've gotten tired of feeling like I was a um, what's the word I'm looking for? Doormat to even people that are paying me and I have no qualms about telling them that that's not acceptable and unfortunately um, the person I'm doing this to is my golden goose if you will and it may end up ruining our relationship and I need to figure out a way to psych myself up emotionally to where I can deal with his insanity um, for as long as I possibly can and at the same time not sacrifice who I am as a person of being a strong outgoing tell it like it is no holds barred you know fuck you if you don't get me kind of person um, so that's where I'm at with that I had to deal with him for two hours a day luckily I have a day off from him tomorrow and then it starts up again on Monday um, so that's where I'm currently at with that situation so I did that. Um, then come 3 o'clock, my rope top fit, picked me up from my house. Um, I know I said I wouldn't let relationships get in the way, but since I'm not actually naming names, I guess I could say this. Um, I have this deep respect and love for this person, and it... Um, really warms my heart and makes me feel good to be around him. So he picked me up at 3. We stopped by some place where he can do some business. Um, then we went over to um, a rope social that we have the third Saturday of every month. Oops, sorry. Now you're dealing with that shit. Hold on a second. Um, <laughs> Facebook. You have a message. Facebook's going off. Um, so, went over there. Um, did a little rope work. Had him practice some ties on me that he is going to be doing on somebody else. I absolutely positively love being his rope bunny. Um, so, <laughs> sorry, I love being his rope bunny, so I have no issue with him putting any ties on me, even if it's not going to be a tie that he's going to be uh, doing for me in the future. The fact that he actually puts rope on my skin is enough to make me happy. Um, did that here's where things went horribly wrong in my head and something that I have to uh, I have to get a hold of and that is part of my insecurities and um, how anxiety factors into that I'm sorry I'm crying um, I 
I get agitated easily. I get afraid that I'm not going to get enough time with the person that I love and I lash out when that happens. I need to learn to calm myself and to um, get a hold of myself when that does happen and try to be a better person. Um, luckily I'm with somebody who's completely understanding and when he catches me in that situation he automatically stops me and refocuses me and tells me what I'm doing so that I don't continue the behavior and that's exactly what I need is to not continue that behavior um, I worry constantly that I'm not going to be good enough and I push myself every day to tell myself that I'm good enough for somebody um, been crazy doing all this um, rope work and all this modeling stuff and all this diaries and everything that I haven't done the one thing that centers me which is meditating so hopefully tomorrow I will start getting back into that um, so that we will see the better part of of who I am um, so it's had a really great time ended up being tied up <laughs> in the world's worst rope. Um, I could show you marks, but I don't think I have any left. There might be a little that you really can't even see it on camera. Um, you can see how my skin's upraised on this side um, with coconut rope. And had it put on my face, which is really, really hard for me to do because I like being able to see what's going on around me. Um, did that for a while. Um, did that for a while. Um, had some really groovy marks. Um, had crotch rope, which I hadn't had before. With coconut rope, it's really intense because it's so scratchy. Um, so we did that. Um, had my first inversion done by my rope top. Um, and he's never done any suspensions with me before, so it was a really special moment. Um, talked about some planning for next month. I will not get into that. That's really personal. Then we all went out to dinner at a place that was near where we were going. Um, I had a great time at dinner, talked to some people I hadn't talked to before. Um, I'm having a hard time focusing and I apologize because it's not normally who I am. It's been a long day. So, had dinner, um, talked just about normal shit on the way home, um, talked about when I was going to see him next, um, then this is where my insecurities creeped up again and my worry um, I asked this person to message me when they get home because I know how people drive here in this town I know how tired people get I would 
I worry something would be happening to him and just that reassurance that I know that he's home safe makes me feel better um, so yeah so I'm home now was diddling around with my record player which doesn't seem to be playing right and I'm really frustrated because I was so looking forward to having my record player working um, so yeah that's where I'm at I'm trying to be strong I, I promise that I will be the best rope bottom that I could be friend, lover um, and being for anybody that I'm with that's all I can hope for and I will at some point record my video diary again tomorrow this is 11 minutes long I think I babbled on around nothing um, sorry my anxiety levels are so high I dealt without having my medication for a couple days and it's really affected me and I know now what it's like to not have that and I know for a fact I cannot do that again because it's just something that's unbearable and sends me into a tailspin and could possibly ruin my relationships um, if you've gotten this far in my blog I really appreciate you listening to me and hopefully um, this gives you more insight in who I am. This is day three, I believe, and tomorrow is going to be day four. So have a good night and sleep well.